If you're really nasty in the butt, you're not nasty anymore, you're assy! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the 2016 Legends series Captain America Red Onslaught Build-A-Figure Waves Sharon Carter. I got this at Comic and Figure Addicts, but you can get yours at Big, Big, Big! Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com! Click the link in the description below! Yeah, if you're in the Bay Area, go ahead and check out Comic and Figure Addicts, big thanks Juan. Anyway, looking at this figure over here, it looks pretty cool. I do have a custom Sharon Carter, so yeah, I've been really wanting a Sharon Carter figure for a long time. I'll do a comparison later on. On the side, you can see she's the running change with Mockingbird. And then on the back, you can see the other figures from the wave, and then you can see the read it. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Then on this side, we get Sharon Carter right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Sharon Carter out of the packaging. Man, I am very happy to have this figure. I have been wanting a Marvel Legends Sharon Carter for a long time. Years ago, I made my custom Sharon Carter right over here. Uh, that ponytail kind of looks like a noodle, right? So, not the greatest, but I did add that blue, which this one does not have. And as a matter of fact, I actually don't think this is really that great of a figure. I mean, we're seeing the reused Maria Hill body mold, which isn't terrible, but I don't think it's great. However, I am very excited to see the character in action figure form, so I feel like my opinion is just biased towards the character finally coming into this figure form right here. So, not a great figure, but damn, I'm happy as hell to have it. Oh no, maybe just a little bit triangular right here with the chin and whatnot. It's not too great. The mouth looks a little bit small. It's just a little bit strange looking. And she does have that derpified left eye right there. So, hey, yeah, that's not really so great. Anyway, but looking at the hair, I do like the hair a lot. And I think this ponytail came out looking really good. I wish they added some kind of color variation right here with the blonde. But, you know, it's pretty solid looking. It looks okay. Can't complain too much. The deco came out looking very clean over here. I like that. The shield logo looks very good. You get this tealish tone to the silver right here coming right down the middle. And, yeah, you know what? I just really like seeing this Maria Hill body mold in white. I don't know. I just really like it. I'm not really too partial to blonde chicks. But for some reason, Sharon Carter, I don't know. I just like Sharon Carter. Uh, specifically, Mike Diodato's version of Sharon Carter I really like. But anyway, uh, you can see the right hand is made so that she can hold her weird gun, which I don't like. Hey, thank you, Disney. Yeah, so you get this freaky gun, not gun thing. So, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. And then on this side, she just has the fist right there. Nice flesh tones, by the way. And then looking right over here, we get these unworkable pistols because they're stuck in the holsters. They're just glued in there or molded together. And I hate that. I really, come on, Hasbro, please, man. Just stop doing it. I would rather have these just be empty so I could put in other guns right there. But don't mold something in there that won't come out. That's so frustrating. But anyway, uh, looking at the white girl Nargus right over here, not looking too bad. You know, same exact deal as we'd gotten with the Maria Hill, you know. And we get some numbers right over there and the legs and the boots and everything thing are all the same and she does have the peg holes at the bottom of her feet. These feet are very difficult as far as getting her to stand. It's not fun. So as far as her articulation goes, her head doesn't really move up so much. That's a bit frustrating. I don't really like that. It just tilts a little bit. It does move down more so and it turns side to side but kind of gets hindered by the hair just a little bit. You start to get a weird angle on that head turn right there. And she does have a little bit of neck pivot so that's not too bad or head pivot anyway. Shoulders move all the way up. She can move them forward. She bends at the elbow. Uh, 90 degrees, rotates at the elbow, the wrist moves side to side, hinge up and down, same thing over here. She has this diaphragm joint, which looks really strange as soon as you start splitting this line right over here. You know, that, that, that doesn't really look too pretty. Uh, it does have pivot, does move forward and back some. You do have hip joints that move outward only that much. She can kick forward that much, and she will kick backwards. She does have a rotation here. It is limited, though, by this strap that's connected to her hip, so that's frustrating. Yeah, you can see it bending right there. She does have the double jointed knees, ankles move down, up, and she has this kind of weird ankle pivot. Now this Sharon Carter figure stands right at six inches tall. Then we have Sharon Carter next to the Marvel Legends Maria Hill, along with my custom Sharon Carter that I had made a few years ago. 
And I think I was a little bit heavy handed with the blue paint on that, but I still would have appreciated at least some blue paint on this figure. And then here's Sharon Carter next to the Marvel Legends Marvel Now Captain America, and I like the size difference between these two. I think these look really good together. And then here's Sharon Carter next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I'm very happy with this figure, even though I think that Hasbro could have done a little bit of a better job. You know, a little bit more paint and a couple of things with Arte. We need to get double jointed elbows on the female figures already, man. It is ridiculous. But anyway, I do like the figure, and I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here to check out my past couple of reviews. I apologize for not having the time to get a big time letdown stop motion going. Spent a lot of work on the website today. So the pre-orders are working now for the Shardimus Prime t-shirts. You can pre-order your Give It Angle Pivot or They're Not Dolls t-shirts right now. Link below for that. Also check out MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! We have my custom Sharon. 